if you are involved into the world of the thoughts and there is any kind of conceptual understanding, you're trying to intellectually understand the nature of the being, of the self, and you're trying to use your mind to get it, well, it doesn't happen. So you have to go beyond the mind into the silence, being quiet and being present, being here and not involved, then the being reveal itself. Actually, it is your being that has brought you here to this broadcast right now. Something much bigger, greater than you and I is at work. And something wants to fall in love with itself. Something wants to reveal itself to itself. It's called the mystery. And the mystery has brought us all here at this pivotal point in our lives to this place. So this is your new reality. Get used to it. And the more you dive into it, the more you drop your resistance, the more you're willing to be with the presence, the more the presence reveals its magic in every moment of your life. Literally, miracles starts to happen. Literally, magic will appear in your life. You will see synchronicities of things aligning with each other. You may think of anything you need, and then all of a sudden it appears on your way. Things show up. Things align. You need money. Money appears in your life. You need help. Help appears in your life. Whatever you need appears in your life. You're not manifesting it. Don't take me wrong. You're not using the power of an individual to manifest things. In fact, you're simply surrendered to what is. You're surrendered to presence in this moment right now. And you're not trying to manipulate anything. You're not trying to make anything happen. You're actually kicking back and just simply sitting and not trying. And you're spending time with your being. And since your being is greater than anything else, your being knows what you need. So your needs are being met. Things you need appear to you because you're spending time with your being. You're surrendering to your being. You are falling in love with the presence. And now, this is not a narcissistic way. I'm not talking about that. You're not saying me, me, me. You're simply quiet. You don't have a story. You're just here. Not involved with anything. So you stop. And you're here. And then the bliss, the juice, the being, the love begin to show itself. And all kinds of magic happens. Sometimes you may be healing people. All of a sudden, you may be channeling things. You may become psychic. You have intuitive knowing. All kinds of different things can happen. But again, that's not even the goal. You're not even looking for that. Those are side dishes. It's not the main objective. The main objective is for us to stop, to deactivate the thinking mind, and to have a journey from the head to the heart to recognize the presence, to recognize the Holy Self, to recognize the Christ consciousness here inside yourself and to recognize the kingdom of heaven that you have access to and you live in it when there is no mind.
and it's blissful and it's centered and it's quiet and it's love. And on top of everything else, this is the good news. You don't really have to do anything to get it. That's the beauty of it. I mean, it can't be that it's such a deal. All you have to do, you don't need to do any action to recognize what you already have inside you. You just have to stop. What do you stop? You stop the craziness, the madness. At first, it may feel a little bit weird because that's what you've done all your life. You've been crazy and you've been paying attention to craziness and your focus is on craziness because you watch the news and you listen to this and that and blah, 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 or you listen to your own mind. So you're used to craziness. So silence is weird in the beginning. What do you mean be quiet, be silent, be still, don't do anything? So we have to unclutch from an old programming that's not serving you. All it does, it brings misery, brings, brings misery to you. So you have to unclutch from that, stop. And then in that transition, when you stop, all of a sudden, the being reveals itself. So the reason that you don't experience it on daily, every moment, and, and you don't feel it all the time, and you still think it's conditional, you still think you have to go and come and, for example, sit with me to feel it, or you have to go sit with Eckhart Tolle, or you have to go see with Maharishi, or you have to go be with this shaman from here or there to feel it, it's still a hang up in your head. It's still a false identification that your mind is projecting that you need an external person in order for you to feel the presence which is within yourself. But it's okay. I don't I love it when we sit together. And I'm happy to reflect this back to you, but I'm honestly 100% truthfully telling you that I'm not the one who's giving it to you. You're already feeling yourself. You're the one who's giving it to yourself. I'm just a mirror here. I'm mirroring it to you. That's all. You are the Buddha. But you're so conditioned because you think it's outside. So you're looking for it continuously. I've done this too for 30 years of being a spiritual seeker and seeking and going to all these different gurus with my begging bowl and hoping they throw a bone in it or they throw a coin in it. So I was projecting it that it comes from Guruji. Till I realized it doesn't come from anywhere. It's here already. All I have to do is stop. Stop the madness. <laughs> 